perfect segue into our next uh, speaker because in this case we're talking about somebody who could die. And now we've got a corner who's saving life. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> well, come on up, Frank. Bro, Frank Barry. Give Frank a hand, folks. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> you have many different speakers running for many different offices come here and talk to you. Some are running for one of nine seats on county council. That's very important. Some are running for one seat in the Senate out of a hundred. <coughs> That's important too. I'm running for one position. There is only one position in this county that will affect you, and that's Corner of Lexington County. Now, of all the people you ever cast a vote for, the coroner is the most likely one who will ever come to your door. I told my cousin's wife that in Calhoun County a couple of months ago. The next day, Donnie Porth, coroner of Calhoun County, knocked on her door and told her that her brother had just been found dead in Richmond County. The day after I told her that. Now, with your help, I can make a big impact on the people in this county. It may be your family, it may be your neighbor, but we will save lives. The death rate of teenagers has dropped 41% on our highways in five years. Now this is a result of only three things that I can think of. Stricter DUI laws may have had a small effect. The last seatbelt law that was passed that gave law enforcement the right to enforce the seat, first seatbelt law, the governor said he was going to put it Governor Sanford. And I stood up before him one day in front of about 150 people and he gave me a chance to ask him a question, but I didn't ask him. I told him, you might have been there, David. I said, Governor, you would give up everything you spent your entire life working for before you would have me knock on your door at 2 a.m. and tell you that one of your four sons just died in an automobile accident. I said, now, Governor, if you let this bill pass tomorrow, you will spare many families that tragedy. It may be your family or someone else in this room. You will never know whose life you save, but you will save many lives. He wrote me a thank you note that day. I had it in the middle of the next day. The bill passed. And then my friend Joel Collins brought to South Carolina alive at 25. It's in only one third of the high schools in the state. I was able to arrange with Venus Holland to put it in Brooklyn Casey Airport this past year. Joel wrote a letter to me in December. He said, Frank, you are the man who can get this in every high school in South Carolina. And if the death rate has dropped 41%, think what we can do if it's in every high school. Now, why did Joel think that I was the guy? Because when Dr. Cole called me from the Red Cross about 25 years ago, he was director of a Red Cross blood bank, he said, Frank, we don't have a tissue bank in South Carolina. He said, we have no bone, no fascia, no ligaments. We don't have tissues when people need them. Will you help? I went from coroner to coroner to coroner. I was president of the State Coroner Association seven times. I got every coroner on board. And now, Roxanne Wilson was here the other day. I said, Roxanne, how's your back? Oh, great, I'm not in pain anymore. I said, well, did they? put some bone, a piece of bone in your back. She said, yes. I said, where did it come from? She said, a cadaver. They didn't have to cut her right here and chisel off her iliac crest like they used to have to do. Many people said that was more painful than a primary surgical site. She didn't have to go through that. She got cadaver bone. She's fine now. I, I put that together. I'm going to do that with a live at 25. I'm on the state suicide prevention board. Some of you heard me tell the story about the man who was going to blow his brains out in December, who now has a job. My friend who I got to help him bought him a car. We are saving lives. Now you can either have a coroner that sits around and draws a salary and does nothing, or you can have me. And this isn't like many people stand up here and say, I'm running because I want to do what's best for my children and grandchildren. But let me tell you, the best thing for my children and grandchildren is for me not to run for coroner, okay? I'll soon have 14 grandchildren. I could spend a lot more time with them if I didn't give my life to you. It's up to you. I'll give you eight years. 
That's it. I will not run for re-election after eight years. That's a promise. Okay, Thank one, you very one, much. One question. Yes, sir. One, one question for anybody have a question? Frank, great, great presentation. Thank you. Good